ओम शांति फोर्टीन ऑगस्ट टू थाउजेंड एटीन ट्यूजडे टूडे ब्लेसिंग इज मे यू बी एन एम्बॉडीमेंट ऑफ रिमेम्बरेंस स्मृति स्वरूप हु डिसंस बिटवीन द वेस्टफुल एंड द पावरफुल बाय बींग सीटेड ऑन द सीट ऑफ अ पावरफुल स्टेज द सेंस ऑफ दिस नॉलेज is to become an embodiment of remembrance before performing any task first of all sit on the stage of a powerful stage with this blessing and discern whether that task is wasteful or powerful and then act after performing that deed check whether all the three stages of that act beginning middle and end were powerful The seat of a powerful stage is the seat of a swan and its speciality is the power to discern with the power of discernment you will always have the stage of a elevated being who follows the highest code of conduct maryada purushottam and you will continue to move forward so the essence of this knowledge is what what is the sar what is the essence of this knowledge smriti swarup to become an embodiment of remembrance so baba is saying this is a blessing you have received to become embodiment of remembrance so there are two things to be done the first thing is before performing any act and after performing an act those who are smriti swarup those who are embodiment of remembrance they will do two things before performing any act just decide or discern whether that task is going to be waste how powerful this decision has to be taken is it going to help me make my stage powerful or is it going to make my stage weak it all depends on the thought what sort of thought you have a weak thought leads to weak action a strong thought leads to strong actions it could be anything right from physical health mental health social health moral health spiritual health anything any weak thought at any of these level will cause resultant weakness so whether the thought is weak so the result would be weakness if the thought is powerful the result would be strength it all depends in today's murli sakar murli baba said everything depends on your purusharth madar the total basis the foundation of everything of this brahmin life is the purusharth so decide whatever i think or whatever i speak or whatever i do is it weak or strong if it is weak the result would be weakness if it is strong the result would be feeling of strength another thing after performing the task then what to do check whether the all the three stages beginning middle and end adi madhya and ant were all these three things were powerful for example somebody goes to service or seva he sits and he starts his work in any department so 
this is the first few hours middle hours and the late hours of the work more often than not these would be powerful beginning these become weak weakness starts somewhere here and the end is dangerous sometimes because hmm sometimes beginning itself is weak it is possible but usually this is powerful this strength gradually decreases and here one is most irritable because the work increases the tasks increases multi multitasking and there are people sitting always to irritate fights color clash in today's sakar murli baba said so much fights and disturbances in the world utensils get dried up so check these two things before performing the task there is something known as impulsive actions impulsive actions means those actions which are done without pre thought pre meditation pre planning there is no preparedness so when goes and jumps so these are the tasks many times one has to repent if we go across all the jails of the world and we meet prisoners so they say that we don't know why we did that it was not our intention but in a fit of rage in that moment they did it without thinking without thought impulsive action and now whole life repentance so before performing any tasks just stop for a while and think is it going to be wasteful or powerful is it going to improve my gyan yoga stiti or it is going to waste so this is an important thing and the most important task nowadays is social media is it going to help me is it going to waste my time my energy my thought my powers the time of this age is to accumulate spiritual powers and instead of doing that if somebody is dissipating his powers or wasting his powers he cannot be called clever or intellectual person you should have the intellect that discerns that yesterday baba said your intellect should be like that of a businessman he knows what is the loss what is the benefit he knows the credit and debit he knows everything vyapar buddhi what are the losses what are the benefits in today's sakar murli baba said if you contribute towards establishment of heaven you will get profit izafa so what i am doing whatever i do that should contribute towards the building of purity new world that should be a service all tasks mental verbal or speech or anything should be service so waste or powerful this is a 
decision one has to take before doing anything and second after doing a little checking what checking how was the sthiti how was the stage starting in the middle and the end for example somebody is working from 9 to 5 so what is the stage in first few hours then middle hours and last few hours so he became he remained the same powerful as before or i remember long back many many years back uh, we had a doctor in some village where i was working and there used to be 300 patient every day in his opd 300 patients sometimes more he was very famous so i was posted there in that village with him and i saw that he stage while seeing the first patient and his stage while seeing the last patient is same if you go to government hospitals there is so much rush so much rush people get irritated as in doctors fighting they just push the patients go away <laughs> till 50 patient their stage is okay till the time 50 patients it's okay how are you and lot of love and lot of affection for the patient but once 50 is crossed then just don't ask they become irritated and after 100 even before he tells anything the, they write the prescription and it is there in their hand multivitamins and hand over don't ask it is written already <laughs> so so much irritation after particular time in the morning hours the stage is okay sato pradhan in the day time we pass through three stages in our work hours sato raju and tamo tamo means one gets tired one gets lazy also in between excitement raju pradhan raju comes and sato i am angel just now i heard mutli and had breakfast in baba's remembrance and entering the department i am an angel of light and maintaining that stage for few hours and then the disturbance starts and then the thorns and the people come to irritate and then somebody doesn't obey and somebody doesn't do the task and somebody has taken leave without asking and there is a disturbance in the work and there is somebody who is coming all of a sudden and starts blaming it's because of you you did this you should have understood and then somebody you get a call from the boss and scolding for no reason and everything falls down so day time also we pass through saturaju and tamo stages and then once the task ends again the cycle revolves i am an angel of light circle this is finished so again you come to the same powerful stage after finishing the tasks so the essence of knowledge is to become embodiment of remembrance remember him as far as possible as many times as possible in as many places as possible with all your strength with all your might with all your soul with all your mind so before performing any task first of all sit on the stage of a powerful stage with this blessing and discern and decide whether that task is wasteful or powerful and then act premeditated tasks then after performing that deed check whether all the three stages of that particular act if that act is of 6 hours if that seva was of 8 hours if that seva of 2 hours 1 hour check throughout those 6 hours how was the stage was it the same when i started the work and when i ended or there were lot of upheavals and ups and downs in that task the seat of a powerful stage is the seat of a swan and its speciality is the power to descend hans asan hans asan means 
just as a swan has a power to discern what is what, what is pebble and what is pearl, what is milk and what is water, near sheer. With the power of discernment, you will always have the stage of an elevated being, you will always have a stage of a Maryada Purushottam and you will continue to move forward. This is how you move forward. This moving forward in spirituality is very slow, inch by inch. It's not that suddenly one moves. It's very inch by inch. Very slowly one moves. And suddenly then there is a jump to some high point. But this jump will not come suddenly. First, gradually, gradually, you keep on moving, 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 moving. And sometimes it may appear that we have reached a plateau. No improvement in spiritual life. Same Amrit Villa, same Murli Churning, same anxiety, same fears, and stage is same. Same reaction to situations. There is no change. And we feel rather then going, the graph going up, the graph is rather going down. So the path of spirituality is not so easy. One moves. Every day, every day there is improvement of thought. The thought increases. The perspective broadens. The understanding grows deeper. The way we reacted ten years back, now we are not reacting in that manner. Earlier we used to wilt, get angry, unhappy. In today's Murli also Baba said, do not get upset with anyone. Rather, you have to make everybody laugh. You have to make everyone laugh. Don't get upset. So, there is a sanskar of getting upset with every small thing. Smallest thing. Somebody said something, upset. Somebody did not behave properly, upset. Somebody scolded, upset. Somebody got upset with us, that's why upset. Hmm? Not giving? Recognition, achievement is not recognized. Praise is not given. Or not given proper respect. Our speciality is rather suppressed. Our skills are not utilized in the manner we want them to be utilized. So, all these things are very small. They are happening at this corporeal level. The soul, a yogi, who lives in that soul world for a long time, a yogi for whom this world is a very small thing, a plaything, something which is happening down, and he is comes here only for a very small time to play the part. 10% only is here. 90% somewhere else. With that 10% he is doing everything. All the job, all the work, all the speaking, all the speeches and everything. While 90% is above Gupt. One of the greatest speciality of Mama the greatest was her Gupt Purushat. What drills, what plannings she would have in her mind, she would not tell. They were very deep and much beyond the other people to understand even. Her Purushat was absolutely secret. which she herself, herself alone knew what it was and how she was doing. So, 
the disturbance are there just on the surface. Whatever that is happening with this body is there and I am away here. Body is there. It is sick, it is ill. That mind is there. Somebody is mistreating mal. Somebody is not giving proper respect or not speaking well or disturbing or causing irritation or doing many other disturbances. But I am not that. I am away. In the Upanishads, they talk of two birds. One bird is above and one bird is below. On the below twig. So this bird, the bird which is above is calm and quiet. It is not speaking anything. It is just, it is not eating the fruit of that tree. But the bird below is very nimble, chanchal. It is going from one branch to another, one twig to another. And sometimes eat one fruit and get happy because it is sweet. And sometimes eats another fruit, fruit, but it gets unhappy because it is bitter. So every time it is happy or every time it is unhappy, it looks up and sees that bird. But that bird is same, unruffled, calm, quiet, tranquil, maintaining in its serenity. And every time it wonders, oh, like that bird is still the same. And this bird, which is below, it's sometimes happy, sometimes unhappy. And then gradually it starts the journey to that bird which is above. And goes up and up and up and up and up. And realizes that bird is me. And that was just the reflection. Tattva Masi. You are that. Thou art that. I am that. Ham so, so ham. I am that. I am not this one. This was a reflection. But I am that ultimate. So this analogy is given in Upanishads. So I am sitting above and what? The one who is below. This is just a reflection. A duplicate copy. I am originally here. Duplicate is below. Pseudo man. The false man. The true man is above. The pure man is above. This is impure man. Just as we have spider man, he man, and batman, and shakti man, and, and superman. So here it is pure man. It's pure man. So pure man is above. Just as that superman has got about unlimited powers. They talk of unlimited powers. Men are seven, but unlimited. So this pure man also has got some powers. So some other day we will discuss what are the superpowers of pure man. Superpowers of pure man. Just as there are superpowers of superman, or he-man, or batman, spider-man, or Shaktiman, whatever. So here also it's like that. So do all these things today. Before doing the task and after doing the task. Om Shanti.